My name is David Gross with Condi Systems and I'm back with you to walk you through how to sublimate to polyester shirts. Okay, how to sublimate to polyester shirts. The shirt we're going to use today is made by Vapor and we carry a complete line of their products in many different styles and colors. The purpose of this video is to show you precisely how to get great results. Now, the reason I'm doing the video comes down to one common problem, and that is when you sublimate to a shirt like this and you remove the transfer, you're going to see a line where the paper, where, where the edge of the paper was. And that line is a permanent press crease mark caused by the edge of the paper pushing into the fabric and permanently creasing the, the fabric there like our clothes. That, that are permanently pressed. And so the solution to the problem is to use a product called the Vapor Foam Kit. And this is inexpensive material, comes in a roll, and what we're going to do is we're going to cut it so that it cushions our shirt. So here, here's the theory, here's the theory, is we want to take this, this fabric and we want to cut a piece of it so that it is smaller than our transfer. So it's smaller than our transfer, but that it is larger than our design. Okay, so here it is. And so that when we press down onto our shirt, the edge of the paper floats. The edge of the paper floats and it never is pressed into the fabric to cause that crease mark. So the first step is cut your foam, okay? the part that we need to dial in is our pressure. If we don't use enough pressure, well, we're not going to make contact with the transfer to the fabric. If we use too much pressure, we're going to flatten our foam and we didn't achieve anything. So this is a great product. Again, it's inexpensive and you can wear it out. So after you do, you know, X number of transfers, maybe 30, 40, 50, something like that, it loses its cushion and you just replace it. You just cut you a new piece and that's it. Alright, so let's get started. This is our shirt and um, this is I think uh, one of these kind of safety orange or green, green shirts and we're going to put the design on the back of the shirt, okay? And so the purpose of this video is to focus on how to prevent the crease marks in your shirt. Alright, here's our press. Press for about 400 degrees, about 40 seconds. Refer to our instructions that are at condi.com in the support area for the precise instructions. Every press is a little bit different. You may need to run your temperature down a little bit, run your time a little bit as, as you change in your colors because different colors, you can, you can unsublimate the dye a little bit if you press too long and you'll see a little square that doesn't come from pressure. It comes because we've heated the dye that's in the shirt too much. First step is we're going to put the shirt on the press. All right. All right. Now, you know, alignment is an art to itself, but it's not terribly hard. You can see, you know, pretty much this straight. Next step is to put our foam in, and we're going to make a little sandwich so we can slide it into the shirt. Now, the thinner the fabric is, the more the, the crease marks. Are, 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 you know, quite noticeable. So, you know, certainly on certain fur fabrics you can get away with not doing this. On others you really should do it. Um, and again, what we're going to do is make sure we've got our foam underneath our design. Okay, looks pretty good there, pretty good. So I've got where I need to be. I think I've got it pretty straight. And now we're going to pre-press it just for a few seconds here to uh, get any remaining wrinkles out. And I'll set my timer for 40 seconds, 400 degrees. Okay, and I don't know what the pressure was set for before, but it looks like it's set a little bit too high, so I'm backing off on the pressure. This 
see if I got my pressure right. A little bit lighter, I think. I think that's pretty good, pretty good. All right. Now we'll let it cool just for a second here. And we're gonna put our design on there. We're gonna use Pro Spray to hold our transfer on. Purpose of Pro Spray is to keep the transfer from moving when you open the heat press and air rushes in. If the transfer does move, um, you'll get a little d double take or a blur. I usually dip it in a little transfer, a little garbage can there to um, keep the fumes from hitting the carpet. All right, looks like we're cool enough there. And um, we're going to take our transfer and make sure we're pretty lined up here uh, with our shirt. Just see if we can't do a perfect job here. And uh, orientation is correct. Uh, don't want to make any stupid pet tricks here. And I'm um, trying to do my best to keep it nice and straight. And let's take a look and see. Uh, I think I'm pretty good, pretty good. Maybe just a little bit over, pretty good. Distance from the top, maybe just a little bit low. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna verify I'm still on my, my vapor foam kit on each side. Make sure I've got no edges that are, are on the foam and I do have my bottom is, I've gotta push the foam just a little bit forward because um, it's not quite where it needs to be at the edge here. So, got all edges on the foam. So my design paper is 100% under it. Okay, looks like I think we're in good shape. And now we put our paper on top. And let's press. And if we look at it from we look at from the edge here, just trying to determine how much compression we put on it. Um, pretty good bit of compression, hopefully not too much in this case. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, we're done. We're going to open our press nice and gently. Pull it across. Going to take off our cover sheet. Notice we've got a little bit of a ghost image on our cover sheet indicating that sublimation gas does rise. And now we're going to lift off our transfer. And I put it on upside down. Well, folks, it happens to the best of us. We make a mistake, but the principle here is I wanted to show you about the lines. And I got in a hurry, so let me tell you what we're going to do with this shirt. We're going to, we're going to put it on our wall of shame. And if you read one of my tips and tricks, you'll realize um, this. But the real principle here, what we're after, is the press marks where the paper was. And I think we did a perfect job as far as that goes. Uh, we did a perfect job. So if we look at it from the orientation that it's supposed to, um, I think we did, did a great job. So no, no lines, no press marks. And so that's the surgical procedure for making sure you don't have press marks and and I get one more shirt from my wall of shame and so David Gross yes I do make mistakes just ask my wife and so um, please let me know uh, your comments your questions you can email me at dgross at condi.com please watch our other YouTube videos at condi thanks